Hello everyone, today we're going to learn another fantastic effect, pixel pattern. This technique helps you turn your images into an amazing pixelated style with just a few simple steps. Stay with me. Welcome to another Resource Boy video. I hope you're having a great day. Let's dive straight into the tutorial. I've opened a beautiful image in Photoshop and you can use either this one or your own. The link to this image is in the description. Let's get started. So uh, go to image, image size and make sure width and height are linked together. Change the width to 250 pixels um, and just click OK. Now um, we've resized the image to something smaller. Don't worry, we'll return it to the original resolution soon. Uh, when I zoom in, uh, you'll notice that the image has became pixelated. Next, go to fall uh export save for web legacy depending on your photoshop version this option may slightly uh, be different but the goal is to access save for web so um in the window that opens right here uh change the format to gif and zoom in to see more details now from the uh, preset drop down choose um perceptual uh, so uh, look at the color section right here after switching this. So um, Photoshop has automatically selected 128 colors for the image. This means the image is composed of these colors in the color table. So let's reduce the number of colors and change it to two. As you see, uh, the image now consists of two colors only increase it gradually to see the difference at three colors the image adjusts slightly and at four five and six colors more details is restored so you can adjust this number based on your needs for this image six colors look perfect to me um, any more you add to the colors the uh, image will get more simulated to the main original photo which you have so uh, now uh, we can change the diffusion to pattern uh, so um, now as you see pattern comes and uh, makes the pixels into uh, a better order uh, in a, a grid so uh, we have another uh, section right here which is named noise and it is the same thing with the um, pixels but I'm going to place it on pattern so we have uh, another option here called web snap the more you increase this uh, percentage the colors gain more depth see uh, this way they become more vibrant again it's completely up to you um, whether or not you want to use this feature overall it's an interesting option in the color table section you can even replace colors for example if you don't like this darker shade uh, double click uh, on here the color code I have uh, I can replace it with black see the noticeable change or I can revert it to its original color so and um, now an image size the 250 pixels we set earlier is displayed here whenever you change the width and height the pixel effect will adjust accordingly for instance if I set the width and height to 100 pixels the image becomes much more pixelated uh, it's entirely up to you if you want to increase the size for more detail or stick with 250 pixels, which I think uh, looks great. So um, I click save uh, to save the image and uh, just close it just like this. So um, next um, I'm going to uh reopen the saved image in photoshop you can see uh the pixel effect has been applied beautifully but i uh want to enlarge the image size so i go to image image size set the width to 2500 pixels and choose hard edges for resample to uh, maintain the pixel effect then i click ok and just like that our image is transformed with this stunning pixel effect so finally i recommend going back to image size and setting um resample to automatic to restore photoshop's default settings uh, and here we just click ok and that's it so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to visit resourceboy.com 
uh, for tons of free resources available for your projects. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video if you liked it and take so much care to one more video.